Hello everyone. So uh, let's wait for uh, some people to join us now. So uh, last time on the last charity stream, uh, we got pretty close to our goal of uh, reaching $1,000 raised for Focus on Children Now, a charity that helps uh, children living in uh, Armenia. And uh, right now we're at $616 raised. So that was really amazing. And uh, today I thought we could do just one more stream, see if we can get a little bit closer to our goal at least. And uh, yeah, if we reach that goal, that'll be amazing. Um, but if we at least get a bit closer, that'll be amazing as well. And again, thank you to all the donors, including Winnie the Pooh, Ruaidi, uh, who donated last time. Hold on, let me make sure my audio is working here. Is the stream working well for everyone? Okay, seems like the audio is working. Okay. So yeah, thank you again to everyone. Winnie the Pooh, Lou Lee, Ruairi, Arshak, Zork, Watch Captain Allen, Heath Dion, Jirisis, Heath Dion again. Uh, Ruairi, uh, Miertie, Anonymous, Domesticos Tonskolon, Marcus Kind, Jan Boruta, Anonymous, Jariad, Anonymous, Slacky, Rickards, MK, Sinkaman, Kidaman, James, Soag, Adam, Foba, Anonymous, It's Nathan, Histogai, couple more, Radu Epure, Blaster, Karkriki, Happy Compi, Heroes Meister, Blake, and Chris, thank you all for uh, donating during the last charity stream. So uh, let's see how much we'll be able to get this time, how much closer to our goal uh, we can get. Uh, hello, Man of the Line. Hello, Hike Sabrian. Good to see you. So we'll just be continuing our campaign here. Again, this campaign, um, hello Winnie the Pooh. Again, I was just uh, thanking everyone, including you, for the donations during the last charity stream. And um, uh, hello Eitan R. So last time in the campaign, uh, we were able to take Fraspa and we destroyed the Parthian presence in uh, the Near East. So Parthia just has their territory what to the northeast of the Caspian here. But uh, we had another problem. Uh, the Seleucids are actually pretty strong in this one and they've been able to fight off the Egyptians in this campaign. And the other issue is that uh, the Seleucids declared war on us as well as Pontus. Pontus also declared war on us and we've been beating back attacks this whole time. So we were able to take Seleucid Mesopotamia, Seleucia, but then the Seleucids took Susa and they took Arsakia in the north. And I, and I have a feeling they're going to march on Fraspa pretty soon. And I don't have enough troops uh, to defend against the big Seleucid army there, even though I was able to uh, take down quite a few of them. So uh, what we're doing is with our half stack in Mesopotamia, uh, we're working on uh, taking back Susa. And then we're going to march north and try to beat the Seleucids at Arsakia, take all of that, consolidate. We're probably going to lose Hatra because there are two huge Seleucid armies that are nearby. And my king's army is actually doing a big march on uh, Pontus. So Pontus is a major problem for us at the moment. So if we can destroy Pontus with this army and create another half stack here in Armenia itself, 
and beat back the Seleucids in Mesopotamia and in Media, then that will solve basically most of our problems. So I'm going to recruit another unit of horse archers in Kutaisi, another unit of heavy spearmen in the capital, and I think that's going to be about it. Um, I want to save up some money. In Hatra, I can't really recruit anything interesting. In Seleucia, I actually can't either, which is unfortunate. So you know what? I think I'm going to go for a barracks in Seleucia. It only costs 600. And uh, I don't... I don't really need Eastern Infantry against the Seleucids so much, but you know what? Should I train some more? No, I don't think so. Uh, hello, haha, ha, good to see you. So, um, yeah, uh, who, uh, hello Thomas Spinola. So, uh, who's been able to get their hands on the remaster so far? I know uh, not too many mods are out yet, but we've gotten a lot of announcements and uh, things are definitely developing quickly on the modding front. It's just going to take some time before we see real nice total conversions. So I have to decide here, where am I going to move this army? And you know what? I think I have to move... This army is not really strong enough to take on these Seleucid infantry heavy armies. I don't have enough horse archers. So I'm going to take this army and I'm going to move against um, Mazaka. I'm going to get another heavy spearman in Artaxata. You know what? Let's do one more Eastern Infantry. Just one more. All right. So I know a lot of people have been talking about the UI of the remaster. And... Um, yeah, I've I've said I said it in the review and I said it in a bunch of other videos, but it's not like I I'm in love with it or anything, but uh, I don't mind it. You know, like it doesn't bother me really. Okay, so let's um move our diplomat down south here. Let's talk to the Scythians quickly. Alliance. If I give them a couple hundred, would they ally with me? We see no benefit to us. Nope, they don't want to. Okay, so now we're next to the Thracians there. Ah, oh, Winnie the Pooh has tried total uh, conquest. Oh, historical gameplay says lags a lot. Uh, what what specs are you running it at? Because, uh, like I said, I'm running this with a uh, budget gaming laptop from 2017. I do all my videos on this laptop. Um, so I have a GTX 1050, NVIDIA GTX 1050. And uh, I do have it running on an SSD, which does help a lot, I think. And uh, I also... Whoa. Why? Why would they do that? I think I'm going to have the king. There's a huge Seleucid army right here. You know what? If that army is abandoning Kilikia, I'm going to retool my army, send it to Tarsus instead. Because why not? We'll draw these Seleucids hopefully back to Kilikia so they'll leave us alone. So they have besieged Seleucia with a whole bunch of Peltists. So you know what? I'm gonna sally out. Yeah, so I'm... I, um, so it it's... Uh, Okay, historical gameplay says NVIDIA RTX 2060, SSD, and i7. So my specs are much worse than yours. My specs are much worse than yours, so th there's some issue going on there. 
I'm running this on medium settings or so. I'm running this on medium, medium and high settings. De depends on the uh, particular setting. So yeah, my hardware is much worse than yours historical gameplay. And 1080p. Are you are you running it on a desktop GTX 1050 Ti? Because this is a laptop GTX 1050 that I'm I'm running it on. Okay, so uh, where are my other horse archers? Okay, they're over there. These guys are over here. Okay. Cataphracts are in the center. Okay, let's start this battle. Let's get out of the city. Cataphracts too. Who's over here? A couple of horse archers. So the Seleucids just have some Peltists here. So honestly, I have to say, in the pre-release version, um, I was seeing some better... The, the AI was recruiting some better armies, like more balanced. Now it could be that I started these wars a little bit earlier than I did in my test campaigns. And that's why the Seleucids are just fielding uh, militia hoplites and peltists mostly, though they have they have trained some Greek cavalry. But um, yeah, definitely seems like their armies are not composed very well right now in in this campaign. In any case, so let's bring these horse archers in closer. Yeah, with HDDs, uh, load times on modern Total War games takes forever. So, um, I, um, I was running the channel on an HDD until, um, one of the Cataphract members on the channel, Heath Dion, actually helped, helped out a lot and, uh, um, helped donate an SSD for the channel, and now... Because of that, I can run this game pretty well, I, I think. Things load pretty quickly. Okay, let's get our horse archers in closer. And of course, one of the things I appreciate most about the remaster are the um, missile unit range bubbles uh, that are from newer games. And uh, I, re I really appreciate that because it... It just helps you because especially when you're playing mods that alter the missile ranges, you just forget like what the missile ranges are, right? So that, that really helps me. So yeah, historical gameplay. If you've got an SSD and an i7 and a GTX 1060, then there's something going on. There's something wrong there. It should run much better than what I'm showing you right now. Much better. Oh, and also I have a, a laptop grade i5, not even an i7. So, um, yeah, my system is worse in every way. And of course, yeah, I, I, um, yeah, cataphracts on realistic colors, they look nice indeed. get our cataphracts in closer here. I guess I want to wait until their peltists um, get kind of picked off by my horse archers before I charge my cataphracts in, but I think a good charge of the cataphracts against uh, the Seleucid Greek uh, Hellenistic bodyguard and again, arrow trails are turned off.
right now. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually okay with playing with them on. But, um, yeah. Uh, hello, Heath Dion. Congrats on uh, moving. Yes, uh, we're moving as well. We know how hard that is. Takes a long time. However, I am glad I was able to get a lot of content out for you guys about the remaster, uh, despite being really busy. So uh, hopefully, once all that's done, I'll be able to get more stuff out for you guys about the remaster, and there will be more news about uh, remaster modding. Yeah, campaign AI definitely more aggressive in uh, the remaster. That's something I like to see because it definitely had a passivity problem in the original. And like I said in the review, it's more aggressive. It's a better campaign AI. It's not a genius or anything, but uh, it's better. Someone was actually uh, commenting on the... Um, the review video and was uh, saying that I was kind of giving the wrong impression about how people should react to the remaster because I was focusing so much on the modding potential. But you know, that's just my perspective. Original Rome 1, again, it's not my favorite Total War of all time. It has so many problems, so many historical issues, um, that Rome 1 is just not my favorite vanilla Total War game, but modded, it's my favorite. And so that's why I emphasize the modding potential so much, right? So I think I was just being honest, giving my opinion there. That's not to say vanilla isn't fun. It's, it's fun. Hello, Arshak the First. Um, so actually, uh, jo Yorios Rakunis is correct. We are close to 4K subs on the channel. Um, so thank you everyone for helping me get so close to that number. That's incredible. I never thought it could happen so quickly to get close to 4K subs. It's, it's pretty amazing. And hopefully we reach it soon. We're at uh, 3,000... Uh, 900, I believe. Or something close to that right now. Ah, uh, they're withdrawing. Oh, they were close to the red line. I... Totally didn't notice. All right. Well, let's take out the rest of these peltists. Well, this was not a good battle for the Seleucids. All right. Very nice indeed. So this basically describes the Seleucid Siege of Seleucia. It is a bad plan that cannot be altered. Yeah, so Winnie the Pooh is correct. Um, there are a lot of mods on the workshop now. Not, you know, not an incredible amount, just because um, it's a new game, right? It released a few days ago. But uh, a good number, a good number. And it's very exciting indeed. Okay, so... Um, Kutaisi. Yeah, so Pontus does have an army uh, in Colchis. It's getting ready to attack, but... Uh, yeah, they don't really... They do have a lot of javelin cavalry, so I'm going to have to train some more horse archers 
to counter them. Horse archers are a really good counter uh, to javelin cavalry. Frostba, let's get another unit of Eastern Infantry ready. And then in Seleucia, we'll train some uh, infantry as a garrison. And uh, yeah, then I'll be able to get this cavalry out of Seleucia and we'll try to counterattack against the Seleucids here. So let's uh, end the turn. Sleepy Rider says, am I the only one who prefers the old city models? Um, you mean on the campaign map? Or in, in battle? Or do you mean Rome 1 versus Rome 2? Okay, so we got a settlement besieged Hatra. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to save Hatra here, unfortunately. So the Seleucids are coming at Seleucia with militia hoplites and things of that nature. We're going to have to do something. So you know what? Oh, the Seleucids have elephants at Antioch. That's going to be a problem because I don't have much javelin. I don't have many javelin wielding forces in my king's army there. So you know what? But you know what? I think I can overwhelm the elephants with um, arrows, perhaps. Hmm. Okay, so I don't understand why the Ptolemies are not helping me out in any way. They are at war with the Seleucids, uh, at least as far as I remember. Let me quickly check uh, the diplomacy thing here. Diplomatic standing. Where's Egypt? Oh, Egypt is not at war with the Seleucids right now. Uh, that's the whole problem. The Seleucids are concentrating everything against me. Yeah, the Rome 2 city models, I can understand why people would like the look, but I just don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, so you know what? I'm so mad at the Seleucids. I'm going to besiege Tarsus with the king. All right. Aton says, hate the new UI. Um, I just want to know why, because it doesn't bother me, honestly. I'm just giving my honest opinion. The, the new UI does not bother me at all, really. Okay, so let's, um... Let's get this army here that I've got. Let's go take out this Pontic army. And then uh, that'll be a big enough force where we can go take out uh, the Seleucids, get them out of our Sakia. Yeah, I agree with the historical gameplay, the massive cities of Rome to break immersion. They're just too big on the campaign map. I actually like the battle models of the cities, like in battle. But uh, yeah, on the campaign map, they really bother me. Okay, so new plan. We're going to build up this army here in uh, Armenia province with horse archers and heavy spearmen uh, and we're gonna take them, join up with some of the troops in Fraspa 
crush the Seleucids in Arsakia, and then move back into Mesopotamia with that army, push back against the Seleucids here, destroy a couple of their armies, and then the king hopefully wins in Kilikia, and that will be a nice victory. Uh, hello, Marcus Kind. Okay, so Hatra's not happy. Let's lower the tax rate. Uh, Tarsus has not done anything. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna assault uh, Tarsus. I'm gonna assault Tarsus here. So, Aton, you, you say the new UI is not intuitive. Do you mean on the campaign map or the battle map? What, what are the kinds of things you look for in the UI? Because, uh, honestly, it, it didn't bother me. Like, it took me maybe a day to get used to it in the pre-release version. This night we will feast and drink to celebrate. Okay, let's start deployment. Take a look at our general a little bit here. General. All right. Ready. So, uh, yeah, we'll hit the gate with one and then another one on the left. And you know what? I'll move. I'll do that one here. And then the other one at the gate. Hello, Plushovi. I've also been getting a, a few questions about multiplayer. Um... Honestly, I haven't even booted it up. I've never been a big Total War multiplayer player, so I have not even tried it yet. The only Total War game where I played multiplayer for a little bit was uh, Shogun 2. Pajama Boys getting into position. Yeah, I like the original UI as well, but I understand why they went with this one. In battle, um, with this new UI, it just takes up less of the screen. So I get it. I mean, it doesn't bother me that much. Your soldiers have brought the ram to the gate. Okay, so the Seleucids are staying in the center of the city. So what I'll do is I'll move in with the horse archers and I'll bombard them into oblivion. Now comes the test of their courage. The battering ram has done its work. Your soldiers have broken okay. the enemy gate. So horse archers here, I'm gonna move them into this mini square over here. These horse archers I'm gonna move onto this street over here. So here you can see how the pathfinding has been improved. Like in in the old game, I could not get that deployment to work at all, I'm sure. Okay, so let's get this Eastern Infantry in here as well. Okay, the walls are down too. Let's get our general in there as well. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Whoops. Oh, I was looking at the chat again. 
Okay, good thing we avoided an engagement there. At least our horse archers are firing on the Peltists. Okay, let's get these horse archers uh, to form up there. These other horse archers will form up on that street here. Uh, I agree. I think they did a better job on the battle UI than the uh, campaign map UI. Yeah, I'm, I, the stream is just a bit choppy. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I was looking at the chat again, and all of a sudden these pikes are coming. Okay, our horse archers are bombarding them. So, uh, let's check the charity screen real quick. So, we had $616 uh, when we started, and uh, how much... Do we have raised for kids? $626. Thank you, uh, whoever donated. Uh, the list is pretty long right now, so I, I actually can't see the new donor. But I will check. I will check as soon as this battle's over. I don't want to lose a unit of horse archers here. I can't afford to. You know, perhaps I'm going to get this Eastern General to kind of flank the enemy here and uh, throw his javelins. And you know, I might do that with a unit of horse archers as well, but you know what? I'll, I'll leave him here. Okay, keep bombarding the pikemen, please. We are doing a lot of damage to their pike unit. So who donated here? Let's see. Yeah, no, it's just hard to tell right now because I'm also concentrating on the battle. But let's get our horse archers out of here, please. But again, thank you to whoever uh, added another ten dollars big help okay so horse archers i'm gonna move you a bit to the left here we're gonna keep bombarding these horse archers Gonna move over here. We're gonna bombard from the other side, and I think that's really going to deliver the blow we need against those pikemen. And in the meantime, our general is gonna move here and uh, hit their peltists. Yeah, the pikemen are getting hit pretty hard from all directions. Please finish him off, guys. Okay, we got the pikeman. There we go, very nice. Okay, general, move in, hit the peltists. And hopefully we'll be able to cut off the pikeman before they even uh, get to the main square. Horse archers, please do your do your job. Uh, get hit by your own arrows. Sounds normal.
Where's our general? Is he almost here? Uh, the AI, the AI is a little better. It's a little more aggressive, both in battle and both in campaign. And you know, it, it was way too passive in the original. So at least that's been fixed in the remaster. Not fixed completely, but made better. Okay, we got him. We did it. Okay, with some micromanagement, we were able to get through that with only two casualties. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stuff about uh, Manor Lords. But, uh, yeah, I uh, have not tried it yet. I don't have it. I believe there is a pre-release version. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. So Tarsus has been taken. Let's, uh... Let's enslave. And I'm doing that because I want, uh, I need more population, more taxpayers in my home provinces. Okay, Zipoetis, his army is going to uh, attack the Pontic army. That's besieging Artaxata. Okay, let's check the charity page one more time. We were at 626. Yep, we're still at 626. Wow, such a great number. I mean, when I first decided to do the charity stream, I didn't know how much people would be able to help. Uh, because, you know, everyone uh, everywhere seems to be a bad situation right now. Let's take another look at the heavy spearmen. Uh, but, uh, yes, thank you all for your help. Okay, so Peltists. I'm gonna put them in the center. Heavy Spearmen in the center. Eastern General on the right. Okay, let's get these Horse Archers in there. So, the Horse Archers are going to be a good counter to the Pontic Light Cavalry, I believe. Our Heavy Spearmen are going to support the Peltists. Um, I'm going to turn the Peltists off of Skirmish Mode because the, they have a lot of cavalry here. And I want to give my Heavy Spearmen time to kind of wade into battle. Uh, hello, Jirisis. Good to see you. Yes, you can definitely rack up a lot of debt in uh, Alexander, that's for sure. Yeah, let's get our Eastern Generals into a good better position to skirmish there. Okay, our Archers. Yeah, turn off skirmish mode because... Uh, Okay, those scythed chariots here, they're gonna... Wait a minute. Why aren't you guys skirmishing? Skirmish, please. Oh, because that's a... It's a red line. You know, I have to say, it's harder to notice the battle borders in the remaster. Or, I've had trouble with that in any case. Okay, move forward here. Who's chasing us there? Pontic Light Cavalry. Okay, General, you move forward. Okay, hit that Pontic Light Cavalry, get him, take him down. You know what? Take 
down this Pontic Light Cavalry. I hate Pontic Light Cavalry. Move the um, Eastern Generals a bit closer. Okay, so our horse archers got those light cavalry here. All right. Zipoetis. Come on, hit that enemy Eastern General. Heavy Spearmen, move in quickly. Okay, we got the enemy General. Very good, Heavy Spearmen, move in quickly. Horse Archers, you move in quickly as well. Ah, uh, this chariot. Those chariots are good. No, 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 no. Get away. Skirmish. Skirmish. Why would you do that? Those chariots are just nasty. Stop skirmishing and get out of there. This is not good. Okay, now we can turn skirmish mode on. I guess we couldn't. Okay, they hit the heavy spearmen. Can the heavy spearmen hit them? Oh, they're withdrawing. All right. That's good news. Oh, this was not that easy. Okay, general. You charge this Eastern in, uh, the, uh, Eastern Infantry. Let's check out this charge. They are not bracing. So they got... hit pretty hard in the charge, and they're routing. Excellent. Okay, now charge this Eastern Infantry before they get too many archers there. Oh, but these chariots are coming. As enemies, these men are perfect. They are running from the battle in terror. Okay, finish off these guys, please. Take out the rest of their infantry, and then I'll I'll leave those chariots alone. All right, that's the last guy. Is sweet and all there we go. I actually feel like skirmish mode was a little bit better than the in, in the original, but uh, perhaps, it, I mean, it wasn't that good in the original either. Okay, so we crushed the Pontic army there. And uh, we didn't lose 
too much. We did, our horse archers took the brunt of that. Unfortunately, let's retrain as much as we can. All right, we'll be able to retrain a couple of them. Now this army, I'm gonna move close to Fraspa here and uh, we're gonna launch a counterattack at our Sakia. The Seleucids stopped their attack at Hatra, so we have Kilikia, which is nice. So now with the king's army, what I really want to do is uh, besiege Antioch, but there are too many Seleucids there. So I guess what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fight these Kilikian pirates. Enemy army routes. Zipoetis is now a confident commander, that's good. Because he didn't have any command stars before. So I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the king's army here. I think I'm going to leave one unit of eastern infantry in Tarsus. And I'm going to um, attack these Kilikian pirates. And I'm going to move against Mazaka. All right, so let's crush these Kilikian pirates. Yeah, skirmish mode was not great in Shogun 2 either. I think that was the weakest part of Shogun 2 was the skirmish mode. Hello, Igor Che81. Okay, let's check the charity page one more time. We were at 626 before. And now we're at 640. Wow, $640. Thank you to whoever made the new donation. It's kind of hard for me to check um, the new donation. It, it doesn't really show, but at the end of the whole campaign, uh, I will be listing off everyone and uh, thanking you all. Again, our goal is to reach 1,000 um, or at least as close to that as possible. Let's check out these Kilikian pirates. Yep, they're just uh, pirates. Some have tattoos, some don't. This guy's... Yeah, interesting, interesting tattoos. Jiresis, what do we know about Kilikian tattoos? It's not a subject. I'm that aware of. Oh, so they actually have a rebel general unit. Seems like a sort of Hellenistic type general there. And get these horse archers up to a better position on the left and right. These Kilikians should be very uh, vulnerable to missile fire. Okay, and our general, uh, their general is coming close to our horse archers, so uh, I'm going to charge them. That's how they want to play it. Okay, so they broke off, so I'll stop the charge. Okay, we're hitting them very hard. Okay, General. This 
The enemy general is routing. Very nice. I don't want to engage with that infantry. I'll just keep picking them off. Ah, that was the general. Oh, come on. Yeah, we won't be able to get him unless we hit him with a stray javelin. Okay, charge the Kilikian pirates. Hello, LTS Genis. Yasu. Or Yasu. Not sure where the stress should be. <laughs> okay, there we go. Kilikian pirates. No more. Not bad at all. All right, so let's keep moving north. Let's try to uh, take Mazaka from Pontus. Let's try to destroy the power of Pontus as much as we can. Our Taxata is now no longer under siege, which is uh, very nice. Indeed, Seleucia. Oh, Seleucia is not happy. That's not good. I have to train some peasants. Peasants, I have no other choice. You know what? I'll stop retraining that other unit and I'll go for some Eastern Infantry in Seleucia. All right, so... Um, Haldita, you join Zipoetis. We'll get some more forces from Fraspa and we'll move against the Seleucid army in Arsakia because uh, this army here is really bothering me. I have to take them out before I can concentrate on Pontus and uh, the west. Tarsus is not happy. They're still not happy. So you know what? I have to destroy as much as I can. You know what, I'm not gonna be able to hold Tarsus here. Blacksmith, let's destroy it. Practice range, let's destroy it. Barracks, let's destroy it. Trader, let's destroy it. Port, Let's destroy it. What else can I destroy here? Nothing. All right, so Eastern Infantry, go join the king. Okay, so we sacked Tarsus really badly. So we'll let the Seleucids take it back. Let's go for highest taxes. We'll let the Seleucids take it back and uh, rebuild it, and then we'll take it again. That's going to be the plan. Okay, our spy is going to check out what's going on here along this border. Okay, so the Seleucids don't have too much in Palmyra. Of course, Antioch is the city I want to sack, really. But uh, let's go up, let's take Mazaka, let's take Sinope, and then uh, we're going to be able to uh, destroy the Seleucids here. All right. So Sousa is also going to be ours next turn. That's going to completely isolate the enemy army that's in um, Arsakia. Oh, and now I can actually retrain all my horse archers. That's nice. And we can actually train uh, some heavy spearmen. And some horse archers in Kutaisi.
All right, and maybe... Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. He's not inactive. He's besieging the enemy. Okay, let's keep going. LTS Ganis says, you got it right the second time with my Yasu. Rea Su Kai Esena. Again, I don't know modern Greek. I just try my best. Okay, so let's, um, you know, we need the money. So I'm going to have to uh, sack Sousa there. Let us now talk reasonably. Parthia is going to give us some money for a ceasefire, okay? I'm fine with that. I don't even have a border with them. Okay, so Sousa was sacked. I had no choice. Tarsus. Oh, the Seleucids didn't take Tarsus. Okay, maybe they don't know that I've abandoned it. Okay, so here we have a Pontic army. They're retreating. All right, so I'll go uh, attack Mazaka. Okay, so Mazaka is a minor city. That's nice. That's a good sacking target. All right, let's have this Eastern Infantry join. Haldita's army. Okay, now this army is looking a little bit better, a little bit more balanced. And we'll be able to easily take down these Seleucids here. Sinope. Yeah, Sinope. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Jurisis, I know, I know. Hey, everyone always gets mad at me when I pronounce things right. And when I pronounce things wrong, people get mad at me anyway. I've been getting so many comments because I say Macedon. Like people in the comments are like, it's not Macedon, it's Macedon. And then I'm like, ah, oh, just leave me alone. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Liapos. Four command stars, pretty good. So let's take these uh, troops here at Susa. Dumatha is like forever away. But I think I'm going to have to go get it. Because um, they have a good amount of troops there. So I'm going to take Liapos' forces down to Dumatha. Crush the Seleucid army there. I have another army in Seleucia. Oh, so I can retrain my horse archers in Susa. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to join these troops together. I'm going to take these horse archers to Susa. I'm going to retrain them in Susa. Let's train another unit of horse archers. In Artaxata. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more horse archers. I'm going to need some more. I have no choice. Pontus has a lot of skirmisher cav. And uh, the antidote to the javelin skirmisher cav is more horse archers. More cowbell. All right, the king, uh, you know, I could Scythian or Sarmatian mercenaries. No, I don't need those mercenaries right now. I want to save my money. And you know what? I'm going to build an archery range in Artaxata. And I'm going to go for... What should I build in Fraspa? I should go for stables in Fraspa. And in Kutaisi, I should go for a market. Because we are getting we are trading in Kutaisi with our port. So um yeah, I want the market there. And Hatra is actually okay. 
So that's interesting. It's good to see. All right, so let's, um, what are we gonna do? We're moving against Dumatha. We're gonna take that army, we're gonna move it up against Palmyra and take that. And we're gonna crush Pontus. Everything's nice, everything's nice. Where's our diplomat? I, li I do like these reminders in the UI because I always forget. So let's talk to Thrace. You want an alliance? A most generous proportion. Okay, so we got map information. That's very nice. Okay. Uh, Davide Viazzi. Uh, perché? Perché? I forgot how to say calm down in Italian. Ho fame da lupo. Wait, who declared an alliance? Yeah, me and Thrace, okay. That alliance is not gonna do me that much good right at the moment. But you know, maybe, who knows, maybe Thrace will attack Pontus. That would certainly be nice. Seems like Thrace is doing pretty well, actually. Okay, Mazaka is under siege. That's good. Okay, this is not nice. Big Seleucid army headed right for us. Enemy fighters headed your way. But we do have horse archers, we do have infantry. I think we'll be able to take down and outmaneuver these uh, militia hoplites without the help of Liapos' army. And just in case, let's get another unit of horse archers. And in Seleucia, some more peltists. Outmaneuver those guys. Okay, let's crush these Seleucids outside of Fraspa. You know, I've noticed a couple of voices are different in the game, but I can't uh, remember all of the differences. I know for Eastern factions, um, you know, they would always say, sieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir, right? But I noticed in the remaster, they don't say that second part. They say something else. I can't remember what it is. Hello, modest flamingo. So we were at $640 for the charity uh, last time I checked. Let's check again. And we are at still 640, but that's such a good number. That's, that's so amazing that we've been able to raise that much already. Again, raising funds for kids in Armenia. Okay, Eastern Generals, let's move. Let's outmaneuver these Seleucids here. We've got some Peltists here, so let's move them forward as well. Start to uh, hit them from all directions with missiles, with javelins, with arrows. They're not gonna be able to handle all this. Hello, EB Online. Good to see you. Barev. Barev Ziz. Oh, Daniel, I'm sorry that all, all my streams happen when you have to go to work. Um, you know, once I have more free time, once, once the big move is done, 
I'm going to try to stream at different times to be helpful. Okay, so our javelins are really pelting those militia hoplites there. Our peltists... Our peltists are gonna start pelting pretty soon. Are generals out of javelins? Yeah, it seems like it. Our javelin generals. Okay, peltists. Throw them. There we go. Yep, those guys are wavering. So I think they're gonna go down pretty soon. They've lost 41% of their troops, 42%. And it doesn't seem like they have any way out of this. Yeah, those uh, guys are routing. Very nice. Move the horse archers in closer. Get my other general to try and hit those peltists from behind. Yep, we're really crushing these Seleucids now. Okay, so General, let's hit these peltists from behind and maybe that'll cause a mass rout of their militia hoplites. Okay, peltists are going down. Okay. Doing very well there. Let's hit these other militia hoplites. And these guys are gonna rout in a second. And then that'll be their entire army and we've only lost one guy. Yep, we've only lost one guy this whole battle. Sad. There we go. We destroyed the entire Seleucid army. So yeah, actually we were able to start this war with the Seleucids definitely before they were ready. They were not ready for this. W wait a minute, they attacked me. So they were not ready and they attacked me. Yeah, I didn't attack them. Ah, their general retreated. Oh, he's their faction leader. That's good to see. Okay, so they're besieging Hatra again. Yeah, that's okay. We really have to crush the Seleucid army in Mesopotamia. Otherwise, that's going to throw a wrench in my plans here. But, worst case scenario... The worst case scenario is... I move this army south and crush them anyway, so... Yeah, things are going okay. Things are going okay. So we've got Sarduri, a new general here. So let's take him and these troops in our Taxata. Let's move them west. Join up with these horse archers. Okay, and that's a good thing because we've got two big Seleucid forces headed towards our Taxata. So let's make some, uh, I guess let's make some heavy spearmen, horse archers, king is still besieging Mazaka, the enemy is besieging us at Hatra, 
Our forces are moving against Dumatha. We've got enough forces to defend Seleucia, I think. And we're going to crush the Seleucids at Arsakia and defeat their king. Okay, so things are, go things are looking up. Things are looking okay. Okay, so the Seleucids have taken back Tarsus. Okay, they're besieging our Taxata, but it's okay, I've got my army here. Now, this is an important battle. Let's do this. This is going to be a big battle. So as we do before big battles, let's check out the charity stream right here. Or the charity, the Streamlabs charity page. We were at 640 last time. And uh, we're still at 640. That's still a good number. I'm very happy with that number. Again, thank you everyone for donating. I'll be able to stream for another 30 minutes or so uh, before I have to end today. But uh, yeah, today, another very nice uh, charity stream. We've been able to get a few more donations to supplement what we had before. And yeah, I'd say this charity drive was quite successful. And it was successful because of all of you. Yeah, I have to say, the Seleucids are not acquainting themselves very well in terms of unit com army composition. I swear, in the pre-release version, I feel like the AI was doing a better job of building more balanced armies. But, uh, you know, when I tested the East, um, I was fighting Egypt, and they were building pretty nice armies. Those Pharaoh's bowmen killed me absolutely killed me. Okay, so let's get these uh, heavy spearmen into position behind the archers. Let's get this general here to harass these militia hoplites. Okay, so the enemy does have some Greek cavalry, but I don't think they'll be able to do too much damage against our horse archers, and we've got heavy spearmen too. So our general should also be able to take down their Greek cavalry as well. They're kind of a light lancer type unit. Okay, let's get these horse archers up on the hill. So what are everyone's thoughts on the remaster besides the UI stuff? Like, is it is it what you expected or did you expect uh, more changes? Because honestly, it's pretty much what I expected, and um, I'm really excited about the mod potential. But I mean, the regular game is pretty much vanilla Rome. Feels very similar. And uh, yeah, that's what I expected. EB Online says, I will drink apricot juice in celebration of your victory. Well, sounds healthy. Let's get our Eastern General up here. Get their Militia Hoplites from the side. Oh, they have some Greek Cavalry! And we're gonna charge them. Archers get out. Uh, okay, the Heavy Spearmen saved our Archers at the last second. And we're gonna crush the Greek cavalry. Oh, this is not even gonna be funny. Oh, that was not very nice by me. Oh, the Greek cavalry got absolutely crushed. Sorry to all my Greek watchers out there. That was, that was disgusting. Oh, they charged right into my heavy spearmen. That's a maneuver I, I always try to do. Okay, they're withdrawing. 
You know, let's keep the heavy spearmen formed up right there. Let's see if we can block at least some of them, flank at least some of them. Okay, horse archers move in closer. You as well. Okay, Eastern General. They're trying to hit our heavy spears from behind, so let's flank. They're routing, they are routing. Okay, so didn't have to do anything there. Actually, that's not the angle I wanted to charge from. But we got them to rout. So that uh, worked out pretty well. Heavy spearmen, set up again, please. Archers, why aren't you firing? Oh, fired will was turned off. Oh, I meant to turn off skirmish mode before. That was the problem. And I hadn't... I had turned off fire at will. Oh, well. Okay, Eastern General. Let's move in, please. Okay, those guys are routing. Let's hit them hard. Our horse archers are doing major damage. That's a lot of damage. They're gonna need some flex tape for that. Okay. Yeah, Igorcha, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the UI, because uh, for me, personally, um, the battle UI doesn't bother me at all, really. The, the campaign UI, I feel, is not quite as good as the original, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Like, it's not something I'll actively complain about. I do wish um, it was a bit more scalable, though. It is scalable. But uh, I wish unit cards and things like that were a bit bigger. And let's get that last pikeman. So we lost 2% of our troops and they lost 84% uh, of their troops. That was not nice. Not nice by me at all. Yeah, our horse archers were absolutely devastating. As were our heavy spearmen. Yeah, our heavy spearmen was able to really crush him there. Robin the Jedi says, One thing that's not a huge deal but kind of weird is that you can't right-click on the campaign map to see the province name and owner anymore. You are correct, Robin. That is something that bothers me too. That's something that bothers me too. I wonder if they can add that back in. It's not like a huge deal because you can just, you know, check. But, um, yeah. It does bother me that you can't do that anymore. Jurisis says camera controls being completely changed is annoying. Um, oh, I agree with you regarding the control C cavalry selection, but what do you mean by the camera controls? Okay, so we got... We destroyed the army that was attacking us at Artaxata. Now we have to destroy the army that's attacking us at Seleucia. Sarduri really crushed him there. So that was nice. 
Yeah, our treasury is a bit empty again due to all the recruiting. Wow, I think the enemy lost a family member at uh, Mazaka or something. I wonder if we should uh, assault. Okay, they have a couple of Eastern Infantry and the General. So you know what? Let's uh, assault Mazaka and take it. E, uh, LTS Ganis says, um, did the remaster fulfill your expectations? Um, the smell worse than pretty much, I expected a little more to be done on the uh, pathfinding, in terms of pathfinding. Uh, I really wish they did more work on the pathfinding, um, and I hope they continue to do so. And on the AI as well, I hope they continue to patch the AI, the the campaign map AI, especially in terms of recruitment, and uh, the battle AI too, because it could still use a few tweaks, uh, even though I know it's the same AI as the original game. But uh, yeah, you know it's the same game. So it has fulfilled my expectations, yes. Okay, now let's hit crush the gates yes yeah, Seleucids definitely do a bit better in the remaster than in the original that's for sure okay so they've got some Eastern infantry set up at the gates right there the, an the annoying thing about Eastern infantry is that their shield defense is pretty good so they're gonna last for a long while against our arrows. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to destroy these walls nearby and as we're pelting them we're gonna flank them and that's when they're gonna rout. And my heavy spearmen are gonna go in there and they're gonna kind of block the eastern general there as we flank with our general and with our horse archers. Yes, pathfinding in in town. Oh, is the chivalry two link dead? I'll try to replace that. I also uploaded it to Mod DB Jazzy Boy, so if you check Mod DB for Chivalry Two, um, there should be an upload of Chivalry Two up there on Mod DB. Okay, they're Eastern Infantry. Actually, they're taking heavy damage because they're not facing me correctly. So they should go down there. Okay, General, you move in. Take the gates. Eastern Infantry, you move in as well. We're gonna try and get some flankage going here. Okay, Horse Archers, you also get in there. This is gonna be a bit of a pathfinding nightmare. But, you know, the pathfinding is a little better in terms of Settlements like this, the Eastern and Greek settlements, uh, have pathfinding that's been improved noticeably, personally. Yeah, Igorcha81, I've noticed that for some people the upscaling doesn't work for the campaign map UI, so it should get bigger, but it doesn't. Um, actually, I think Admiral Price the the um another youtuber he has shown that the ui does get bigger and it's supposed to but um yeah there is some issue there okay so let's engage i think we can get them to rout upon engagement yeah they're getting hit pretty hard 
They're broken. They're broken. Okay, Eastern Infantry back there. Get back there, horse archers. General, chase the Eastern Infantry. Actually, General, you stay here. Okay, these things are getting a little messy, but we are doing what we came to do. Okay, Eastern Infantry is moving forward again. Okay, they're routing again. Yeah, let's charge again. Actually, you know what? They're getting hit by the horse archers, so I'll just let them continue what they're doing. And I'll get these horse, arch horse archers on the left. Horse archers. Okay, so as you can see in this battle, the pathfinding uh, has been pretty good so far. I've been able to do definitely more than I would have been able to do in the original. Definitely. In terms of deploying units where I want them. Okay, so if the Eastern General comes after my horse archers here, then I'll move my general to engage theirs, because my general's unit is bigger, and I think it should be more experienced than theirs. Yeah, it's more experienced. Okay, so our horse archers are starting to pelt them pretty badly. Okay, so they're going to chase my cavalry with their Eastern Infantry, which is interesting. Okay, get out of Phalanx and run. Let's set up over here, protect the General for just a minute. Heavy Spearmen. Oh, so regarding achievements, um, not being available with mods, I actually expected that because that's the way Civ does it for the new Civs. So I'm actually surprised that achievements work with like Rome 2 and mods, right? But um, yeah, it, it wasn't that unexpected to me. But you know, Rome 1 mods. Uh, you can understand the logic there. A at least for me, I, I get the logic. Okay, we got the enemy general. There we go, our heavy spearmen uh, did take a little bit of damage there, but they should be okay. General move against their general. Okay, horse archers move to flank those Eastern Infantry there. Yeah, the enemy general is going down. What? How? That is just dumb. That's dumb. I lost the king. I was trying to do everything to preserve my army here, and I lost the king. That was dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Uh, you can't mod achievements, I don't think. You cannot. 
Oh boy. That was dumb. Anyway, let's check the charity. <laughs> so we were at 640 before, now we're at 740. Wow. Thank you, EB Online, Vartan. Thank you for donating. Wow, amazing. Taking it from 640 to 740 in one fell swoop from the Europa Barbarorum Online community. Thank you so much for donating 100. Wow. All right. Wow, 740. I can't be mad now. I can't be mad now. Well, new faction leader, Eminos. He's a bad general and he has a mistress, which improves his management skills. Well, I guess she takes care of the house. That's weird. Okay. The king was Rusa. Of course, an Erartian name. So let's build some roads in Mazaka. Hopefully the Seleucids build up Tarsus again. Now the good news is we took Mazaka. And now I'm going to leave some Eastern Infantry in Mazaka. And I'm going to move this army, now without a general, unfortunately, up to Sinope. All right. Okay, now we've got one other big... Let's take out the Seleucid King. He's annoyed me for far too long. Eminos, yes. Long live King, King Eminos. Yes, EB online is correct. Rusa is of course an Urartian name. So the new king is Eminos. Not really an Armenian name either. Well, at least they're from the Yervantuni dynasty or the Artaxia dynasty or whatever the dynasty is in Rome 1. Whatever it's supposed to be. Okay, where are we? Yes, we have to crush the Seleucid king. Who's by himself in Atropatene. So let's skirmish him, let's pester him with arrows. Yeah, they took out my king, I'll take out theirs. Yeah, that smells that even, even a cosmetic mod can uh, cause you to not get achievements. So yeah, that, that smells. No, no other way to say that. No, no other way to put it. Okay, Javelin Generals. Amino Acid. Wow, yeah, that's Aminos' um, stage name. Amino Acid. That's... Yeah, I never thought of that. That's cool. All right, so this Seleucid King is getting absolutely destroyed here. It's not even funny. He's just going down hard. There's nothing he can do.
Okay, generals. Crush him. Make him rout. No, 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 get the king. Get him. Where is he? The king is not dead yet. We got him. We got him. We got him. There we go. Tigran Shamirian says, has the AI improved and remastered? A bit, a bit. It's more aggressive, that's for sure. It's less passive, has less uh, bugs. But it hasn't become a genius, right? Yeah, the Seleucid king really did a front flip there. A front flip to his demise. All right, now with this army, let's uh, take back Arsakia. Okay, one other big thing to do this turn is crush the big Seleucid army that's besieging Seleucia. Fire Salamander is says, how about pathfinding? Now, overall, I'd say it's a little better, like you saw in that battle, in that settlement battle, in the, um, we had a settlement battle in a Greek-type settlement, and we had a settlement battle in an Eastern-type settlement, and uh, definitely better in those types of settlements. In barbarian-type settlements, pathfinding is extremely annoying. It might even be a little worse, and that's extremely annoying. Okay, Eastern Infantry. Where are our reinforcements? Ah, uh, they're coming up from behind. Let's move our guys up, move the cataphracts up, move the infantry up. You know what, Eastern Infantry, you guys move back. We have a nice, aesthetically pleasing night battle, but that does make it a little bit difficult to see what's going on. I wish I had a general cavalry here to kind of skirmish with that militia cav. I do have cataphracts, but I don't really want to commit them because I can't retrain them anywhere yet. Okay, so where are the other horse archers? Here. Move away from the chariots, please. Yeah, these chariots are going to be a problem for the horse archers. Horse archers definitely have issues skirmishing with chariots. Horse archers, please fire on this militia cav. Do something with them. You know what? Cataphracts charge the militia cav. We can't afford to wait. We don't have the time. Peltists, you move forward. Eastern infantry set up behind the peltists. All right, so cataphracts are going to chase down the militia hoplites. Horse archers are going to set up close to here. All right, cataphracts really crush that militia calf as much as you can. Make him rout, make him suffer. Did it. Did it. Very nice. Okay, they're coming up. They still have all their chariots. I wish they started to run amok amongst their militia. Hoplites, that would be really nice and helpful. Let's watch our cataphracts finish off 
the destruction of their militia cavalry. I think they'll be able to do that on their own. But that was really important to do. Important to take care of. Okay, Militia Hoplites are moving forward. We've taken out 25% of the enemy army so far. So that's going well. Oh no, the chariots are chasing my cataphracts. I don't like this at all. I don't like this one bit. Okay, cataphracts crushed the militia cab. That's nice. Let's get away from the sky the chariots. Oh, that's not good. They're getting close. We have to fight. Cataphracts fight. Oh, it's not good. This is not good. Not good at all. Can we get at least some of them? We lost the cataphracts. Oh, that's not good. Eastern Infantry. Get back, get back a bit. Peltists, where are you? Okay, keep doing your job. We're doing pretty well against the Militia Hoplites. Okay, we've taken out 34% of their army. Which is pretty good, all things considered. Ah, our Eastern Infantry have engaged. I don't want to do that. Let's move back a bit more with the infantry. Yeah, let's move back a bit more. Don't rout, please. Peltists, keep firing. Okay, Eastern Infantry set up. We're gonna try and perform a flank maneuver. Let's try and rout the center. Oh, this is not good. Their chariots are coming. There's too many Seleucids. I might have to retreat. Okay, Eastern Infantry flank. Those militia hoplites. Get them to rout. Flank. Hit him from the side. Oh, that's not good. Enemy general shows his value. He is filled ah, these guys routed. Yeah, Eastern Infantry could not handle it. Okay, Peltists. Where are the Peltists? Okay, well, the enemy general's routing. All right, we're starting to lose troops, and that's not good. You know what? I wonder if I should withdraw the infantry.
Uh, I don't want the chariots to get in too close. Okay, you know what? Infantry set up again. Peltists keep firing. Horse archers, we still have some ammo. No, we're running out of ammo. Okay, a couple of our horse archers. Okay, our Peltists defeated those guys, that's good. Okay, can we cause them to rout? Okay, we got them. Good job, Eastern Infantry. Where are these horse archers? Okay. Get these horse archers in here. Okay, Peltists, good job there. Okay, they're at 50%. Ah, this battle is annoying. Okay, that Eastern Infantry routed. Okay, you horse archers that don't have ammo. Wait, where are those ones? Move over here. You guys keep firing. Keep firing as much as you can. There's just too many of them. There's just too many of them. I might have to run out of ammo and withdraw. Okay, we got those militia hoplites to rout. That's good. Very good. Nice pincer there. Other Eastern Infantry. Move over there. Let's move to flank. Okay, those guys routed. Interesting. Some interesting stuff is going on right now. I don't know. I'm, I'm concentrating so hard, I'm not even looking at the chat, so I don't know what anyone's saying about this. Okay, we still have some ammunition. Uh, for some people. Okay, these horse archers. Go and hit these guys. You guys charge these guys. Okay, we got those guys. Let's try and distract these fellows. Make sure they don't flank our guys. Oh, that's not good. These militia hoplites didn't rout. I have to flank them with something. 
Oh, my Eastern Infantry got him. Wow. That's amazing. That's really something. Okay, Eastern Infantry set up. Horse archers, hit those militia hoplites that are routing. Let's get more of them. Okay, the enemy is at 44% troop capacity. That's pretty good. Okay, Eastern Infantry, charge those guys. Horse archers, flank them. General, you hit those guys. Move, move, horse archers, move. Okay, this might not work. If they don't get the spears down... No. Ah, it didn't work. It didn't work. Well, we fought our hardest. But I think... We have to flee. Okay, withdraw. Withdraw, everyone. We're out of ammo. Wait a minute. These guys had fire at will turned off? I'm going to get so mad. Okay, so the chat is talking about giant bugs. That's interesting. Okay, stop the retreat, stop the retreat. Okay, so the enemy has 600, 600 guys left. All right, let's flank those guys. Okay, very good. We crushed that unit of Militia Hoplites. Very good. Even just having these guys as a presence on the flank of the enemy can cause Militia Hoplites to rout. So let's set up these guys again. Hello, Tigran Meds. Barev. But if I am live streaming from Armenia, so hello. Okay, come on, come on, okay. Ah, Tigran Meds just bought the game. Well, have a good time. Okay, um... No, 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 skirmish! Oh, come on. Okay, horse archers, move in there, flank, get them to route one at a time. This is the most tense battle of the campaign so far. Okay, we got these guys to route two. Very nice indeed.
Okay, so horse archers. If we can get this unit of militia hoplites, we can gang up on this last unit and make them rout. Okay. The Grand Meds, you have wrong too, but never liked it? You're not the only one. Okay, come on. Uh, what can I do? Deploy on the flank. You deploy on the flank too. Okay, those guys are routing now, very nice. You guys deploy on the flank, hit those militia hoplites from behind. Okay, these militia hoplites are routing, very nice. Indeed. Now we just have to hit these militia hoplites from two sides at once. And that's it. I can't believe I pulled it off. Uh, I like Rome too. I don't dislike it, but I know a lot of people don't like it. Hello Anonymous Tom, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Okay, so I think that's it. I did it. We got him. Oh my goodness, that was... That took forever. Oh my goodness. Okay, so our generals, horse archers, yeah, took out 362 guys. That was amazing. So we had $740 before for the charity, and now we have 770 Wow, thank you. Uh, to whoever donated, I will be listing everyone who has donated at the end here. But uh, yes, thank you so much. We've taken it so far from $616 today all the way up to 770 so that's really amazing we're over three quarters of the way to the goal we're seeing a night map Armenia at night uh, the Medjay of Fayum has a YouTube video it's an ambiance video of Armenia at night in Rome 1 so here it is here's a teaser of that okay So, we crushed the Seleucids at Seleucia. That was a tough battle indeed. And we do have to get our guys in for retraining, that's for sure. Horse archers stay in Seleucia. You horse archers. Wow, our cataphracts all recovered from their... from getting chopped into pieces. That's amazing. The miracles of modern medicine. Oh, Temple of Hephaestus. Someone else's religion? Let's destroy it. Okay. Let's replace that with a shrine to Vahagan. There we go. Digran Med says. In Europa Barbarorum, the name is Hayastan, which I think is a mistake because the real name is Hike. Uh, yes, Hike would have been a better name. Uh, Hayastan is a bit anachronistic, right? And of course, they they write Hayastan with a D, um, and the D is of course Western dialect, which of course is also anachronistic.
All right, so let's retrain all our guys. Good job, Eastern Infantry. You know, my Eastern Infantry, they... They fought hard. What can I say? They fought harder than I thought they would. So let's go down. Take our Sakia. Another Seleucid army? They want more? They're gonna get more. Okay, so we crushed a whole bunch of Seleucid armies. We've got another one in Armenia, but they're gonna go down easily. We've taken Cappadocia. We're about to take Pontus, or besiege Pontus, and Sinope is a large city, so sacking that is going to give us a lot of money. So let's uh, train up some units here. Let's retrain those heavy uh, spearmen. Let's train some more horse archers in Artaxata. In Fraspa, another unit of Eastern Infantry. We need some more. Another unit of Horse Archers. And we are working on some new buildings, which is good. In Seleucia, we should work on a uh, Stables building. That's going to be very important. Our Spy is inactive. No, he's in a good place. He's in a good place right now. So let's end the turn. Oh, and we're besieging Dumatha, which is also good. That is the Mesrobian Armenian alphabet that Tigran Medz is... Um, uh, username is spelled in. Okay. So, uh, everything is good. Wait a minute, the turn didn't end. Everything is the same as it was before. I get it, he's inactive. Macedon destroyed by my friends in Thrace? It seems to be the case. Macedon destroyed, Hatra still under siege. Okay, we've got a Pontic army. All right, you know, I wonder if I should clean out this these Pontic troops from Cappadocia before moving to Sinope. Okay. EB is a mod for Rome 1, and EB2 is the mod for Medieval 2. Okay. So let's besiege our Sakia there. All right. And uh, let's retrain those horse archers. Make a new unit of horse archers. We're not going to be able to save Hatra there. So you know what? I'm going to besiege Sinope. Okay. And then um, if... If Pontus besieges Mazaka, I'll send my army down to Mazaka. Yes, I have family from Pontus as well. Oh, you mean Tigranes' father-in-law? Yes, you are correct. <laughs> so do do we have the actual Tigran the Great here? Have you? Do you have? Our Taxiad internet access. Okay, so we're almost done with this stream here. Uh, I think... You know what? I'm a little bit burnt out. I have to end the stream here, unfortunately. But let's check the charity page one more time. So we were at $770. 
Let's refresh the page one more time. And we have got 770. I think that's a really good number. Uh, we've done a great job. Thank you, everyone. Amazing community. We were able to raise um, a lot of money for charity to help kids in Armenia. So again, if, if you're not aware, the link is in the description to donate uh, to uh, the charity. I might do one more. I might do one more stream, but let's see. Let's see. But it was great to have everyone here. Uh, the campaign is going well. We're going to destroy the Seleucids. Just a couple of cities left. Pontus is going to go down too. And then after that, I think that'll be victory for us, really. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. $770 raised. Thank you all for your help. I'll see you next time.